हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स अनदर ट्रिक टू मल्टीप्लाई नंबर्स वेरी वेरी क्विकली एंड दिस टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द नंबर्स व्हिच एंड इन फाइव सो दे कैन बी टू डिजिट नंबर्स थ्री डिजिट नंबर्स फोर डिजिट फाइव डिजिट इवन टेन डिजिट नंबर्स एंडिंग इन फाइव दैट इज द कंडीशन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन and uh, you will see how the short trick will enable you to find the answer without pen and paper within say 7 to 8 seconds only if the numbers are two digit you can actually do that virtually in 3 to 4 seconds if the numbers are three digit maybe 7 to 8 seconds and then beyond that it's all about practicing you know if you practice uh, 40 50 questions the time uh, is going to reduce so watch the entire video to learn something useful and uh, this is especially useful for students who uh, want to calculate 10 times faster than others and excel in the olympiads at school level or placement exams at senior level where you are appearing in ssc cgl or banking and the railways exams right so you need to watch the entire video and subscribe the channel to uh, get all the notifications you need to click the bell shaped icon also right let's get going and see the first case where the sum of remaining numbers is even now what does this mean i'll take an example and then i'll tell you the trick also and then the uh, first case now for this i'm taking an example of 65 times 85 now see if we eliminate the fives because that is a compulsory number ending in 5 that's a compulsory number right so apart from that the remaining number is 6 and remaining number is 8 now the sum that means 6 plus 8 is 14 and this 14 is even now this is the condition this is the case 1 what happens when the sum of the remaining numbers is odd that we will do in our next slide uh, we'll complete it in this video itself okay right so the trick we i'm going to take up is known as p plus s upon 2 followed by a 25 p plus s upon 2 followed by a 25 now what is p for p you just have to take the product of the remaining numbers so i'll write everything p equal to 6 into 8 that is 48 and s what is s s is the sum of these two 6 plus 8 that is 14 so now if i calculate p plus s by 2 this will become 48 plus 14 by 2 that is 48 plus 7 and that is 55 now this 55 suffix by the number 25 will give me my final answer for the question 5525 Now, see, I have written all the steps here just for understanding sake. In subsequent examples, I am going to eliminate these steps, and you will see how quickly we can actually do these products. Okay, let's see another one here in which I am taking the example of another two-digit number, say ninety-five and seventy-five. Now, I am not going to write all these steps. Nine and seven; these are the numbers which are apart from the Fives. The product of nine and seven. Nine sevens are sixty-three. Plus the sum of nine and seven is sixteen, and half of sixteen is eight. And I have to suffix twenty-five to the result. So sixty-three plus eight is seventy-one. Followed by a twenty-five gives me my answer. Now see, I have eliminated all the steps here and. i got to my answer very very quickly for this particular question likewise if i have a three digit number 135 times 55 so eliminate the last fives now you have a 13 and a 5 do the same thing 13 5 times is 65 right plus 13 plus 5 is 18 and 18 upon 2 is 9 so what do you get here 74 right and just suffix 25 to the result you will get your answer now where are the steps the steps are all gone even if we have a three digit number we are getting to the answer very very quickly likewise 
if suppose both of the numbers are three digit numbers let's take 145 and 705 so apart from the fives we have a 14 and a 70 so if i want to find the product 14 times 7 is 98 followed by a zero that is the product and if i add what the sum 14 plus 70 is 84 and half of 84 is 42 so what do i get this is 2 8 plus 4 12 2 1 carry means 10 and a 25 suffix to the result will give me 10 triple 2 5 as the product of 135 no, not 135, 145 and 705. Now you can try this. This is case 1 where the sum of the remaining numbers is always even. 13 plus 5, 18, 14 plus uh, 70 is 84, all even numbers. Right? So P plus S by 2 time uh, uh, and the suffix number is 25. Now, let's move on to case number 2 where the sum of the remaining numbers is odd. Now watch, there is a very small change and you will be able to find the product again very very comfortably. So for the first question I will write all the steps and in subsequent questions I am going to remove those steps. So let's take the example, the simplest example of 25 times 35. Now you can see if I cancel the 5's, I have a 2 here and a 3 here. So the product of 2 and 3 is 6. Now the sum, that's the important thing. The sum of 2 and 3 is 5 which is odd. So what am I going to do now is I am going to reduce the sum by 1 and then take the half. So 5 becomes 4 and then take the half it becomes 2. Now this is the only step which we have to remember. Now we have to just add these two. So P plus S minus 1 upon 2 and suffix this time the change is suffix 75 to the result suffixing 25 when it is even and suffixing 75 when it is odd so what is the answer here 6 plus 2 is 8 and suffix 75 you get the answer 25 times 35 is 875 let's take a, another example of two digit numbers then we'll move to three digit numbers also here we have 5 and 5 eliminated, 6 and 9. The product is uh, 9, 6 are 54, right? So 54 and S minus 1 upon 2 is the sum is 15. So 15 minus 1, 14, 14 by 2 is 7. When you add these two, you get 54 plus 7, which is 61 and suffix 75 to the result you get your answer 6175 see how the number of steps are getting reduced slowly as we progress through the questions let's take a big example now 215 and 165 215 and 165 so after this question i'm going to give you a question as a diy do it yourself question okay now eliminate the fives so you have to take the product of 21 and 16 so 16 ones are 16, 6 1 carry, 16 twos are 32, 33, 336 right and s minus 1 upon 2 the sum is 21 plus 16 37 so 1 reduced is 36 by 2 gives me 18. Now add these two 336 plus 18 gives me 354. So 3, 5, 4 and then what we have to do, we have to suffix 75 to the result to get our answer for the product. Does it work friends? You can let me know in the comments here, does it work or not, okay? Now, a DIY question. As I told you, I will be giving you a do-it-yourself question. So, you need to do it using this trick and let me know in the comments whether this worked for you or not. You need to do 1085 times 315 using this trick and post your answer and the time taken to get to the correct answer has to be posted so that I can review it 1085 times 315 for all of you. So friends the numbers ending in 5 they can be multiplied using this trick 
look for more such amazing videos on Suresh Agarwal's mathematic shortcuts wherein I will be taking up numbers ending in 9 also and that video is going to be equally amazing. So all the best for your practice and do post your comments, I will wait for them.